We now continue our assembly test drive with step four where we're going to place a sub-assembly of a spindle into our micrometer assembly that we're working on. So what we want to do is come over to the parts library, right mouse button click, and we want to change our files of types to assemblies. Now obviously we can leave all of these on. We don't have to keep turning these on and off, but for this uh, exercise we're going to do this just to kind of eliminate all the other components. Then I'm going to click on the first part and just key in an SP and it's going to take us to the spindle sub 1 sub assembly. At that point I'm going to go ahead and just drag this into my file. Now what I want to do is I'm, I'm going to place a mate in the line to place this into the correct uh, location. So I'm going to start with the mate. I'm going to pick this front face. I'm not going to pick it but I'm going to just put my cursor there and use quick pick to get the back plane of that face. And then I want to place that into the counter bore face on our micrometer and that places the mate relationship. Now we've got an alignment relationship. At this point you're going to go ahead and align. You're going to pick this cylinder but now you want to come over and you want to select the lock because you want to lock the rotation and then just pick this cylinder to place that uh, spindle into our subassembly. By locking it it's going to place it in a locked state and you'll see here that it says rotation locked and it shows the two relationships. Also notice the red dashed line between the two components so it gives you a good idea as to what is related to what. So you're able to place single components or complete subassemblies to build assemblies very fast. So by reusing existing designs uh, you can significantly speed up this whole design process. At that point you're going to go on ahead and save the file and then make sure that your students are caught up to this point.